Hello everyone and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. My name is Hopwood and we're gonna go straight into Spyro Ripto's Rage because as you can see I completed Spyro the Dragon to 120% <laughs> So I went through like off camera and did all the extra things and it was a lot of fun I've never like fully completed it before. I've beaten Nasty Knock but I haven't gone around and done 100% so it was good. It felt good to finally do that. This is the game that I grew up on, the second one, um, but for me it was called Gateway to Glimmer for some reason. I think the UK version was Gateway to Glimmer and everywhere else it was called Rip Does Rage. So I'm going to call it Gateway to Glimmer just because that's what is I know it is. But... Oh, forgotten what the sun looks like. so many memories. We should go on vacation, what? somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Oh, the music, yes. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been, been there since I kicked Nasty Rocks, but. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at Sparks. He's just like, yeah. <laughs> that was the best bit about. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love how they've redesigned it. It's so cool. Oh my god. The best bit about Spyro through is when they got Spyro Sparks to talk, and he was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, look at him! Oh, he looks so weird. Is he a mole? I've always wondered what he was." Look at Hunter. I love what they've done to Alora. She looks amazing. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. Oh my That's god. Exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. Hell yeah. I love her little dress. It's so cute. Oh, look at her. Yeah. I'm not sure I prefer like Hunter's voice actor yet, but I'll give him a few seconds. The others are great, but rough landing. Hi. Which way's the beach? Beach. Stop staring. Haven't you guys, guys ever, ever seen, seen a dragon, dragon before? before? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got a problem with that pussy cat? Yeah, bitch. Uh oh. Well, well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Me to the party. Uh oh. Are you trying to keep something from me? No. A dragon? You brought a dragon to it's so a hard not to narrate along. It's a terrible habit that I have. Yeah. Go, Zoe, go! Yeah! Crush, kill it, kill it! No! Nope. Oh no! Uh oh. Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! Oops. I will. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've seen some of the promo pictures and things. That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Okay. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand <sighs> yes. our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet okay. you in Summer Forest, okay? Sure. Hey, wait a minute. That's cool, Spyro. I got this. How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Yeah, I've seen some of the promo pictures and things before, but um, I didn't want to spoil too much for myself. I wanted to just experience it. So I'd seen like Elora and it's Inspire and things like that, but I hadn't seen um, Crush and Gulp. They look so cool. And one thing I want to do, because in um, in Crash Bandicoot, they kept in some of the old cheats, cheats if you can call them that. Like if you jumped on Polar's head 10 times, you get 10 lives. If you jumped on him in the um, Vortex room, and um, one thing that you could do here, which I'm gonna like undo it if it works, was that you could, there was a shortcut to get all of the skills straight away without spending money and giving it to money bags and things. So I'm just gonna try it and see if they kept it in. And if, it, if they have, then I'll restart the game and do it again without. But I'm just curious to see if they put it in. No, I can never quite remember what it is. Try the other way. Oh no, that won't work, will it? Okay, so it's not there. Just curious, because I thought it would be a nice little nod if they put it in, but spiral, I'm fine with that. Unfortunately for us, oh, he sounds just, just the same! And started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? I can, Pogo. I got you back, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this is all wooden now. That's really cool. 
So I know this game like the back of my hand, especially the beginning levels. So hopefully I should die a lot less than I did in the first one. If I get this right, you can skip around here and get the second one. Yeah! Oh, look at my mad skills, yeah? <laughs> they say failing completely to get up the stairs. Oh, see, the five gems are purple again. Oh, maybe they were just blue in the first game and I don't remember that then. It's interesting. Interesting. So this is the gem cutter world. So these uh, mice, are they mice? I think so. Are the ones that actually make all the gems that we collect throughout the game, which is really cool. I love this world. It's one of my favourites. There it is. Oh, that's not as good. I'm not, I'm not so keen on that noise. The original was better. Because they got so angry at you. Now, just to prove how much of a nerd I am, I'm pretty sure that by the time I get to money bags, I should have 182 gems. I might be slightly off on that, but we'll see. But that's just, that's how much I played this game, especially this level, because I love starting again, as I've said in previous videos. Starting again is my favorite thing in the world. I don't know why, I just love doing it. That's a good little noise. So I wonder if Zoe's gonna talk to me. Hello. Hi, yep. Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, ah. and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, Ooh, I'll bigger than you used progress. to be. Thanks. Like Zap. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. Okay. See you around. I like that voice. In the second one, she had a great voice, and then in the third one, she got a really weird, like, high-pitched voice, and I hated it. It drove me nuts. So I'm really glad they went with like a lower pitched voice and it wasn't too mental. Like I understand why they did it, she's a tiny fairy and she'll have a high pitched voice. Makes sense, but it was just really fucking annoying. <laughs> now, I think the number I was quoting was perhaps the number you get once you climb the ladder, but I could be wrong. Because I used to do the cheat just because I didn't like giving money bags money. So, and it ob obviously it's cool that you can do everything at once, because a lot of this game you have to go back to the same levels and redo them once you get the right skills. Um, up there, I'll show you in a second, is a ladder, which I can't climb yet because you don't learn to climb ladders until you get to... Oh, I was 191. 191? 189. Okay, I was close enough. It's been a while since I've played it, to be fair. 189, yeah, that sounds right. Um, so yeah, you can't climb that until you go to Summer Forest, which is the next home world, and then you have to come back. And there's a lot of things like that, so ah, you must be the that's why I used to do it, just talking. for kind of efficiency's well, sake. Dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a uh, look at you, you greedy little bastard. It will cost you a hundred of your yes, gems yes. to cross. All right then. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? Yeah, I got my eye on your money bags. Whenever you want, free of charge. Yeah, thanks. I hope we meet again. When you have even more gems. <laughs> okay, him and Hunter, I'm not too keen on yet. Hunter had a lot more kind of like bravado. Good look around. Press the action I know. Try using... Wow, wonderful. Hunter had a lot more kind of bravado and he was like, yeah, that kind of style. And this one's a lot more calm, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... I preferred the other one so far. And Moneybags was a lot snootier. He was, like, properly looking as Dinah's nose at you. And this one doesn't seem to have that yet, but we'll see. Right, I'm gonna ignore you, because that's the end of the level, and I'm gonna go do this bit. Yeah, I'm coming. Nope. Oh, this is so cool. I love the redesign. It's so pretty, so vibrant. It's so reminiscent as well, like it's so true to the original game, like this whole building is practically identical, but it just looks so much like cleaner and brighter and oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to be saying that a lot, I think. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's interesting when they changed the five gems. I think the purple's better. I can see why they did it. Okay, up here. Around we go. Uh, I'm really excited to play some of the like my favorite levels. Oh, fuck that up. Okay, let's try that again. Um, just to see what they look like. I mean, there's a couple of levels that I really didn't like as a kid because I found them quite difficult. So it'll be interesting to see 
if they still are difficult for me, obviously, just because I was a silly little kid who was crap at games. Has had a few levels like uh, Magma Cone, which is in the Summer Forest homeworld, where I would literally do the bare minimum, just get through it, get the talisman, and then leave because I just hated it so much. Um, so I'm curious to see if I still hate it now. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. Damn it! I've tried hitting them with. Oh, they still wiggle their little butts at you. Bastards. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Thanks. Okay. I wonder what the noise is like. In the original one, he was like, HOME! So if he doesn't do that, I'm going to be really disappointed. Eh! Not, not perfect, but we'll, we'll allow it. Yay! Nice shooting. Thank Follow you! Me to the okay, I'll be with you in a second. Just want to get that first. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Where are you going? It was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. I hope he doesn't stop to wait you for you. I used to race him, but then he would stop, and it was really annoying. Of course I can. I'm Spyro. I can do anything. Ooh. Forgot about the inverted controls. Oh wait. Oh, it's not inverted anymore. They've un, un they've uninverted it. That's annoying. Oh well. Whee. Come on, Bowser, keep up. up high, you'll have to aim. I've been aiming the whole time, bitch. No, you did. I thought you threw me a rock over there for some reason. I was a fool. A rock, no! Know, I, just... I know! Go away. Right, I'll do it over here and then you won't talk to me. Whoop. Yeah, I might have to invert the controls because that's weirding me out a little bit. But I'm not sure if it counts for flight. Maybe the flight control is still inverted. It's weird that they did it for the first game, but not the second one. Like, the same settings do the opposite. Because it did say that it invert was off, which confused me in the first game, because I was like, but it isn't off. So, we shall see. It might just be flying that's... I'm going to keep doing that now. Ah! <laughs> cool. Yeah. Are you coming? It was 191. I was right. I just missed that gem. Damn it. Oh, you are coming. Good. You stand on the gems to make it easier. Five out of six. Last one. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm so glad to be back. I used to fall off the end of here all the time because you have to get right on the edge to see him. There we go. Mm, wrong way again. That's too low. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah. You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Yeah, I have. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Why? But thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice effect. I like that. I liked it when it bounced towards you, though. That's not as fun. But it's still nice. And then we take the spare rock. This is the rules. You have to do this. And... We throw it at money bags because he's a greedy little shit. And if you're very good, you can hit him in the penis. Yeah. Oh, he reacted. Oh, wow. He never used to. That's really cool. They must know that we all hate him. <laughs> okay. Whoop. One more orb you can get here. And then we have to go because we're not powerful enough. This is not my final form. Hey. Great. The superfly power Kanga. Is oh, I remember that. Start our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Cool. Let's see if I can do it. Oh yeah, the flight is still inverted. That's weird. Okay. Odd. But we'll leave it. Whee. I used to find this so hard. It's ridiculous. Through the tunnel. Ah, oh, one more. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that looks so nice. 
Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. You're welcome. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. That's you fair. Take it me instead. too. Me too. Can't spend orbs on anything. <laughs> nice. Hypersonic. I wonder if they've taken this out. I used to try and fly through here, but then because you get to the place you're not allowed, it runs down really quickly. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm still gonna make it. Yes. Nice. Because they're like, you're not supposed to be up there yet. You're not gonna be able to get over there though. Cool. Right, let's go. Let's not go. <laughs> oh no. Getting overconfident. I did not hit anything there. Screw you, money bags. Your aura does not count as an obstacle. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight oh, he's grey now. Oh, Please it's so cute. They have different colours. Thanks, I will take your hammer. Pickaxe. Doo -doo -doo. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Thanks. Oh yeah, it doesn't do that until you complete the level. When you get everything, it has a little trumpet. It's like, doo -doo -doo. It's, it's cool. <laughs> nice. Hmm. I think where all the extra gems are. Because there can't be that many on the top of the ladder. I must have missed something. Maybe I missed something. <gasps> Maybe my memory's not as good as I think it is. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. Oh no! Nice. I mean, say what you want about Ripto, but that is a cool fucking flag. Oh, hello! Oh, look at our ladies! We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My, My name, name is Laura. Um, hi, I'm Spyro. What, what are, are you? Some, some kind of goat? goat? I'm a <laughs> fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she was a lot more pissed about that in the original. I did. Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave Dang. you a talisman? <gasps> what? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all what? magic. Who are you talking to, Alora? <laughs> it's like that vine where everyone's like, and everyone else is like, bro, what are you looking at? There's nothing there. Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Apparently. Look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his uh, yeah, like there is. You're just being a selfish forest. little bitch. I could already be there. Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Yeah, I hey, already I did that, too. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. I will How torch trust Ripto. You I will. Talismans? Just gotta wait. If you come oh, shut sure down. To, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans. Oh, a little cat stretch. That's so cute. Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I think. I wonder if they took inspiration from um, How to Train Your Dragon because obviously Toothless was very cat-like. And um, there's some of that that's reminiscent in the new Spyro, because it wasn't like that in the original. I mean, it's a nice touch, I'm not complaining, I think it's great, it's so adorable. Um, but I wonder if that's where they got it from. There used to be a life down here. There it is. Yeah! I'm going to be doing that a lot, I think, because I know it so well. I'm just gonna be like, there used to be something here, where is it? I'm sure I saw something sparkling up there. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Oh no, we have to talk to Elora again, don't we? Yep. Spyro. Yep. This is the home world called Summer Forest. I know. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Amazing. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Okay. Start by okay. retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Thank you. I'm a little concerned that you've covered your boobs up, but you've got your vaginal hair just like right there. I mean, you know, no shame. You, you do your thing. <laughs> okay, gonna miss. There's some jammies down here. Oh, I wonder if the frogs make the noise. When you killed them, they made the most size. No, they used to make the greatest little, like, whoa, croak noise. I can't do it. But it was really satisfying. <laughs> 
Now we take the stairs, because they have jammies on them. It's probably better to go down the stairs and then up the whirlwind, but I prefer to do it this way. I have my routine. And then Hunter's like, oh, you can't fly over here, you stupid idiot. I'm like, yes I can, I just haven't tried yet. Whee! See? Yeah! Alrighty, let's go. I think first of all we go do the Hunter Challenge. Oh, they have orbs over their heads now to show you. That's cool. So you know where to get orbs from. That's pretty cool. I mean, I already know. I know everything about this game. Hi, Spyro. Hi, yeah. You look like you're pretty agile. Hell yeah. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Oh, he's Press got a bow and arrow now. Did he always have a bow more hang time. I saw the strap, but I don't know. Whee! Ooh. Ooh. This is shiny and new. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. I know. Yes, yes. I'm gonna try and listen to the dialogue generally, nice but job. if it's like, now yeah, it's just teaching me how to hop. I know this shit. I got it. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. Yes, Let yes. Oh, so difficult, so hard. Wow, you're a really good athlete. <laughs> If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take yeah, you on yeah. for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you do those stretches. Why am I more cat-like than you? That's really weird. Oh well. Cool. Well, you might as well. Okay. Spark, ah! The dragon. Yes, I know about sparks. We already did this in the last game. I mean, it's nice that they kept all the dialogue and everything, but presumably if you get the the trilogy, you're gonna play all three. You don't need the same information three times over. Right, okay, pro gamer trick, tip. When you come out of here, the first level you're gonna see is Idle Springs. Don't go there yet though, because you need to swim underwater to get everything in Idle Springs, and you haven't learned to do that yet, and you can't afford it, because I think it's 400 gems. <laughs> That's so irritating. So we're gonna go this way first. To, uh, what's it called, Colossus? Yeah. I love Colossus, so weird. Fucking monks. Why Anyone who's played the original will get me. I hope they still do that. Also, sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. The arm on my chair is a bit kind of broken. I keep leaning on it, so it keeps cracking. Ah, oh, the Yeti. You have improved greatly. Oh, he looks so good. Oh my gosh. He had literal flat feet before. They were just like... <laughs> it's just like a line because it was so pixelated. Oh, he looks so good. Wow. <laughs> I did laugh before that happened because I knew it was coming, but it still makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, this level's so weird. Oh, the funky music. Oh, yeah, he has been rampaging around our home. But we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Thank you. I feel like this is the new music, isn't it? Reunited, yeah. It's like I can hear the original music so clearly in it. Obviously it's been like remastered and everything. It sounds great, but it's just, it's so familiar. It's almost like they haven't changed it. Which sounds really rude because it sounds like you know, they might not, might as well have not bothered, but it is different. But at the same time, it's so familiar. It's an amazing balance. Be able to open this door for you. Thank you. Oh, I like their old voices. They had these weird, like, pompous voices, like, by concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Like that. But, you know. I'm not complaining. Oh, that one has a hockey stick. Oh, they both have hockey sticks. Ha, <laughs> that's cute. They never used to. That's really cool. Get around the go. Nope. And as you may have noticed if you haven't played these before, uh, the second game, you do not get gems for killing the enemies. You get um, spirits, I guess? You know how to like this. That's true, sir. That's true. Um, and as you see... Like I know. You see behind the yak, there's that thing with the number 11. When you get 11 souls or whatever they are, the power-up activates, and that's how you use those. 
That one is a spring thing, which got a, like basically like a super jump, I guess. No! Oh, he flattened me, but I killed him anyway. That's rude. I need a penguin. Where are they at? Oh, they don't honk anymore. <laughs> That's what I miss. Everything's great. Yes, I know. I was just explaining that to my feet. Like, I love the update so much, but I miss all the silly little sound effects they had in the original when things died and stuff. Because <laughs> I'm a child. Yeah. Did I just hover by pressing X? No. Hey, hey look what I can do. Look what I can do. Oh, he's so chill. I get it. It makes sense, but he was so excited originally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to try and stop comparing constantly. It's probably going to get really annoying. Oh, it looks so cool, though. I love the lighting and everything. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Are you going to tell me something again? No? Cool. I'm pretty sure she used to be like, remember Hunter's advice? But apparently not anymore. Round we go. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I was miles I away. You should torch that Yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. Well, rude. I made my mum play this once, the first boss battle with the Yeti. She was not impressed. <laughs> I knew it was missing something. Yeah, I got to this point and then I gave mum the controller and I was like, ready for your first bo boss battle, mum? She didn't know any of the controls or anything. I was just chucked her in there. And she was faced with this. And she won. <laughs> I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. Yeah, yeah. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. And yeah. I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh, he's so pleased with himself. It's so cute. So cute. There we go. There weren't any gems down there, were there? No. That's the secret way to get back. Uh, let's see how the ice skating feels in this one. Oh, yeah. Can you jump on the ice? No, you can't jump on the ice, so once you're on, you're stuck. You just have to glide onto a bit that isn't ice, basically. Now for the most, one of the most infuriating side missions of all time. The fucking hockey game. I don't want to do oh, it. <laughs> Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Okay. You have two minutes to score five This goals is the easy the one to be goal. fair, but... We'll see. Okay, off we go. Oh, I hate this one so much. Oops. No! See, the trick is to make it look like you're going one way and then go the other way, or shoot the other way, but it's not always easy, especially if you get too close to him, because he will literally just choke you out. Yeah! Got one! Okay. Where are we at? Yeah! I know, right? I am shaming you. For shame. I may hate this, but I'm a fucking expert at it. Hours of torture. Hours of torture at this. Oh, he's gonna hit it again. Yep. Oh, that should have gone in my mouth. Oh, I have a time limit. Did I always have a time limit for this? The second one, yes. I'm sure I didn't have a time limit for this one, though. Oh, well, whatever. He gave up, he gave up before it had gone in. That was weird. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, I have a minute left to get two more goals. I can do this. Easy. Easy. And you don't want to shoot from too far away either, because then he'll get it. Then, oop, I'm going that way. Ha ha ha. Oh, bless him. Cool. I can do this. Well, maybe the second one doesn't have a time limit because there's more players? I don't know. Should we go for the other side? We'll go for the other side. Change things up a bit. Otherwise, he's going to guess my routine. Well done. Have this. 
Thank you. Oh, hours of torture this fucking level. Hours. <laughs> Would you like to try a game of one on one? No. The first to score five <laughs> goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Okay. Off you go. Uh, what on earth are you, sunshine? No! They choke you. I know it seems mean to flame him, but he does choke you if he gets too close. Oh! Yes! Okay. No! <laughs> you can see the torment. I have no patience. Because it's taken me so long to get good at this. Yes! Oh, I am the master! I am the master of ice hockey. Oh no! Yes. What? Come at me, bro. Come on, give me a challenge. I'm so good at this. I'm so good. I am unbeatable. Yes. <sighs> Nothing gets my heart racing like this fucking mini game. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to go in. That would have been lucky. No. And of course, your goalie's absolute shit. At least you saved that. So many times I've been like, dude! No. I'm panicking now because it's the last one. I'm trying to get 5 nil. Ah, I thought that was going to go in there. <laughs> that would have been way too good. Come on. In we go. No! If you stare at it long oh long, yeah you might not see anything okay dude I don't care oh I am the master of ice hockey bow to me bitches oh okay off we go <laughs> cool. I found out that was there because you can um, you can do the ice hockey bit before you fight the yeti. And the only reason you can jump out the windows is because when the yeti jumps, he smashes them. So if you do it first, you can't get in through the building. But thankfully, someone thought of that and they put that nice little step there. And there isn't anything on there. No, there wasn't anything on the wall originally, but I wasn't sure if it was now. Okay, so we need the bouncy dance. And that's what that does. Okay, so first we're gonna go this way. Get out of there. Oh, he's red now. He used to look just like a ghastly. Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. No problem. But now it will hide in the statues. I know, ten of them. You to flame all ten statues. I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Okay. Difficulty three, really? All you have to do is find some statues. It's not difficult. Oh. Oh. They were bright green before, so they were much easier to spot. But that's interesting. And they get a sword instead of a hockey stick. I like it. That's really cool. Okay. Okay. There's that rocket. Thank you. I hope it's not too annoying me playing it like kind of knowing everything that's going to happen before it happens. It won't be as much like that when I get further into the game, because like I say, I start again a lot. So I know the beginning really well, but not so much the rest of it. Uh, but we'll see. I, I, like, and also I'll try and stop being like, well it wasn't like that in the original. Because it's not a criticism, it's just that I'm noticing the differences and they're really cool to see, that's all. And I want to share that with you guys. Alright, number six. Oh, thank you. We go in here for that beastie boy. Seven. Oh yeah, I am the Spiral Master. I don't know. Sounds a bit weird, isn't it, Spiral Master? Nope. Thank you. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I was. I've never tried that before. I wasn't sure it would work, but. <laughs> Up we go. 
nine and the last one Boing. Thank you. Oh, oh, here we go. Into the cave of wonder. I'm gonna do this first because it usually teleports you back. Nice. There we go. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit, spirit away. away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Uh huh. Borrowed. Sure. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Is that. Yeah. Gloss is complete. Do I have a little trumpet? Aw. Fair enough. I suppose they want to keep it the same throughout all the games. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. This is my little introduction to Spyro 2. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm buzzing! And I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Go on, show him how it's done. Show him. Show him. Whoops. <laughs> Bye, guys.